Crate Racked App version 4 has been released, finally, and I'm quite excited for this one because it has a few features that I think is going to speed up the development process. So the ones I'm going to talk about here, and I think that's the ones that you're going to know this right away, and it's quite important ones, I think. You have something that's called Fast Refresh and also the new JSX Transform. So these ones are pretty awesome, and I'm going to show you how they work now. So I'm going to use my movie application that you probably have seen a lot if you followed along my tutorials in this channel. And this is the application that I create in my React Essentials course. So if I move inside a movie here, I'm going to show you how Fast Refresh works and how great it is. So you can see here, for example, I have some values hard-coded inside here. So the running time here, for example, if I look inside the movie info bar, you can see that I specify running time here. And if I want to change this one to cool running time, I save it. And please note now, when I, as soon as I save this one, I save it in three, two, one. And you can see that it instantly updated it here. It didn't have to reload the applications. That means when we change something inside of here and save it, it will update that one for us automatically without reloading the application. And that's super sweet because that will speed up the development process for you enormously if you're, for example, working on a nested component somewhere. This one isn't that nested, it's just one level down. But you can imagine if you're, you're down four or five levels or something, and then you have to reload the application. I constantly do this when I work with my client now. We have a lot of nested stuff, a lot of levels down, and I have to navigate all those levels as soon as I change something in my code. And that's really frustrating, actually. So this one I'm super excited about. It's going to speed up a lot when you develop stuff. So that's fast refresh. And then you have the other thing here. And that's actually, it may seem like a small thing, but uh, it can actually clean up your code. So you probably be used to when you create components in React that you always import React from the React. In this case, I can do like this. I mark it and remove it, save the file. And it's still going to work because now we have JSX transform and you don't have to specify this in every component. So you can remove this one if you want to do that. You don't have to import React in every component. So remove it, and you can just create your component. So that's great with JSX Transform that you don't have to specify it in every component that you do. And that is the fast version of React Fast Refresh and JSX Transform. They are available now in the Create React App version 4, so try them out for yourself. And hopefully I see you in another video.